The Allies of Humanity briefings reveal two important things that humanity needs to know now. First, it reveals who is visiting our world from space, who these races are, why they're here, and what their activities constitute. And the second thing it reveals is the reality of life in the universe, that we, still stuck here on planet Earth, really could only imagine. We have no direct experience of this. We're not adapted to this greater arena of life. And so we need this information to understand the reality into which we're emerging and to develop the necessary criteria to really determine friend from foe and the intentions of any race who may come here, either currently or in the future. There's an important distinction, though, that I have to make and that this is an intervention and not a visitation. A visitation occurs when guests are recognized, when their intentions are known, when relationships have been established. Then you welcome someone into your home, or in this case, you welcome another race or a group of visitors into your world. You know who they are, you have an understanding of their intentions, and some kind of communication has been established. And so their presence here is not a shock. It comes with a real recognition. But an intervention is where another group or race intervenes in the world, comes here without permission, without revealing their identity, their intentions, or what they plan to do in this world. And clearly, we're facing an intervention now. We don't know who the visitors are, we don't know what they're doing. They're functioning in secret, operating surreptitiously in the world in a number of activities that the Allies of Humanity briefings reveal to us. To understand why they're here, it is necessary for us to have a view of the big picture of life. How do advanced races behave? How do they relate to one another? What do they need? What are they looking for? What restrains them? What motivates them? And so forth. Otherwise, we just have fantastic notions of enlightened beings in the universe or monsters. Uh, we create images of devils, uh, images of saints, images of angels. We don't know what to know. We really don't understand what we're dealing with. And so the Allies of Humanity briefings give us through the briefings, a window into the larger universe and panorama of life in which we've always lived. And one of the things that they reveal is that advanced technological societies, almost without exception, have outstripped their world's natural resources and natural inheritance, forcing them to become engaged in complex networks of trade and commerce to gain the resources they need to fuel their advanced technological societies. And that those whom we will encounter as our first visitors to planet Earth in this era at this time will be resource explorers and economic collectives. And this is very important for us to know because many people assume when considering the prospect or the reality of visitation that if the visitors haven't attacked us or destroyed us, then their intentions must be benign or beneficial. But what people don't realize, and what we really could not know without the aid of these briefings, is that we're dealing with economic powers, not military powers. They do not come equipped with military assets. They do not have an armada of ships and powerful weapons. They're not going to blow up the Earth. Okay, this is not the same reality as we've been led to see or believe in Star Wars and Star Trek movies. We're entering a very different kind of reality. And in this reality, war and aggression have been suppressed, but freedom has also been suppressed. And the briefings describe what this really looks like and why it has occurred. What this tells us about our visitors is that they're here looking for resources. 
and they do not use military power to gain the advantages that they're seeking. They use the power of persuasion, they use imagery, they use suggestions, they make promises relating to the people whom they encounter and the people who they seek out. Open your mind. Most of the world remains ignorant of this presence. Perhaps people think that there is probably someone flying around our skies or they've heard stories or maybe they've even had sightings of their own. But for most people, this is not an important issue. This is not a significant event. But for those whom this intervention has contacted and for those whom it has taken against their will, this is a very, very important subject. And it's essential for us as the native peoples of this world to establish our own rules of engagement our own boundaries to space. We have a proprietary right and responsibility to determine who may come here and under what circumstances. In this case, we're the host, but we're not functioning like a host. And our visitors have forced entry into our world without our permission and awareness. And we remain ignorant of their activities and their intentions. Open your mind. It is for this reason that several groups of free races in our local universe have sent us these briefings to warn us about the intervention that is occurring in the world today and to begin to educate us about the reality and the spirituality of intelligent life in the universe. This is an essential education for humanity and it must begin. For the intervention is here, it is gaining strength every day People are not understanding its presence or its intentions. And that is why the Allies of Humanity briefings have been sent to us. The intervention is fundamentally here to take advantage of a weak and divided humanity. It has come into the world at a time of increasing political and economic instability, at a time when humanity is facing the depletion of its most fundamental resources. It has entered at a time of great confusion and the great risk of conflict and war. It has come here to persuade us and to encourage us to believe in its presence and its power as the only force that can lead humanity out of chaos and to make us dependent upon its foreign technology so that we will become the recipients of whatever this foreign power wishes to create here and to do with us. And this is the great threat and challenge facing the human family. And this is why the Allies of Humanity briefings are so very important for us at this time.